The body's center of mass, as shown by the yellow and black marker, is the point where there is an equal division of weight on all opposing sides of the body. When standing, it lies behind the navel, and its exact location will vary based on individual body proportions. We can move our center of mass by moving our body segments. The body's center of pressure is the sum of the ground reaction forces between the body and the environment, and can be summarized at a point where the body meets its environment, such as the feet on the ground. The location of the center of pressure within the body's base of support indicates the relative muscle activity across the body and the balance of joint moments or forces of the muscles acting across a joint. The center of pressure is a tool used by the body to control the center of mass. The body's base of support is the shape formed by the points in contact with the ground. Altering the position of these points can change the position of the base of support. The center of mass cannot leave the base of support. Rather, the base of support changes its shape to allow the center of pressure to move. To remain balanced while standing, the center of mass moves within the base of support. There are many ways to measure center of pressure and center of mass. The best way, or gold standard of measuring center of mass, comes from a multi-marker based analysis of body segments and motion tracking software. These markers and motion tracking software are used to estimate the center of mass's location based on the image of the person in 3D space, coupled with estimates of their body segment masses. This method is very time consuming and expensive because there is so much equipment involved. More commonly, center of pressure is measured directly using force plates and pressure mats. Pressure mats calculate multiple pressures and add them together to find one center of pressure. This is done by determining the sum of the forces applied at the soles of the feet and graphing the information in the anterior, forward, posterior, backwards, and medial lateral or side-to-side -side directions over time. It is not possible to directly measure center of mass, so we measure center of pressure displacement and frequency, also known as center of pressure sway. The center of mass is the stimulus that causes the center of pressure to react. The center of mass is constantly moving due to different muscles and biological processes working at any one time. Since only the center of pressure can be controlled, it responds to whatever the center of mass does. In order to keep the body upright when standing, the center of pressure is always in motion, moving beyond the center of mass to keep the center of mass contained within the base of support. If a person is pushed forward, their center of mass moves in the direction they are pushed. The center of pressure then responds by moving faster to move past the center of mass, catch it, and bring it back within the base of support. This keeps the person balanced. Let's use our knowledge of how the center of mass and center of pressure relate to explore a real-world example. Poor balance control is a major contributor to falling in elderly adults. Balance control involves a series of inputs, like vision, used by the central nervous system to make decisions about how to direct the center of pressure to control the center of mass. With this in mind, Muir and colleagues conducted trials of quiet standing, suggesting that young adults would have less center of pressure sway than the elderly. Greater center of pressure sway means more center of mass movement, and therefore less stability. Muir and colleagues found that the young adults demonstrate less center of pressure sway as predicted. This is noticeable in both the anterior, posterior, and mediolateral directions, as the center of pressure trace remains close to the center of the graph. Elderly adults demonstrate a greater center of pressure sway, as was also predicted. There is an increased sway in both the anterior, posterior, and mediolateral directions, as the trace travels vastly around the graph. When the stabilogram graphs are compared side by side, these differences become very clear as the elderly adult graph on the right has a center of pressure pathway that travels a greater distance to control the center of mass when compared to the young adult graph on the left. The body has both a center of mass and a center of pressure, and while the center of pressure can be directly measured with force plates or pressure mats, the center of mass is indirectly estimated using multi-marker based analysis with motion tracking software. The center of pressure is related to the center of mass in that the center of pressure works to keep the center of mass within the base of support. Center of pressure sway reflects the amount of center of mass sway. 
In the elderly, center of pressure sway is much higher than in young adults, meaning there's more center of mass movement.